Former men's singles world number one Morton Frost was in Tokyo commentating on badminton and shares his highlights from the 10-day event. First of all, I must say, I have enjoyed it so much. It has been a great tournament. Overall, I must say that China did really well. I possibly did not expect, considering that they have been out of uh, competition for such a long time, but they really did play well. On the other hand, I must also say that the host nation, Japan, um, must be a little bit disappointed. They were quite clear favourites in, in some of the um, disciplines and uh, to get a come away from uh, the Tokyo 2020 with one bronze is possibly a little bit disappointing for Japan. I, I would say so. Having said that, if, if we go almost, let's say, um, discipline by discipline, I would say that the women's singles, uh, for me, Chen Yufei really played well. Fantastic match in the final against Tai Su Ying. And the match between Tai Su Ying and uh, Ratchanok Intanon was also one of the highlights, in my opinion, in, in the women's singles. They were two fantastic matches. Moving on to the men's singles, uh, Rich Axelson, he couldn't put a foot wrong. Uh, he, he played the best I've ever, ever, ever seen him play. Um, hit the line um, all the time. So, um, you know, hats off for that. That was perfection absolutely perfection and when we talk about the men's singles we have to mention kevin corden from uh, guatemala what a dream run he had at, at the olympics and got all the way to the semi-final and uh, perhaps in the semi-final against big taxes and the the bubble burst a bit but fantastic run by kevin gordon i uh, hats off for that as well you know who would have ever expected that uh, coming to women's doubles um, Rahayu played out of this world in the final. It became quite emotional um, and um, I, I, I'm, I must say that uh, she was the, the outstanding player in, uh, in that match in the final and uh, of course backed up fantastically by uh, Gracia Pauli. Coming to men's doubles, um, Li Yang and Wang Qilin uh, a major surprise. I don't think uh, I don't think anyone had thought they would win. When I say major surprise, they've done really well in in January uh, in Thailand and winning three tournaments. Uh, but this is this is a completely different ball game playing the Olympics and how they disposed of their opponents in the last few matches was just devastating. The only category or the only discipline I think was pretty straightforward was the mixed doubles. The two Chinese pairs in the final, again, a surprise that uh, Wang Yilu and uh, Huang Dongping are winning, but nevertheless, the most straightforward uh, discipline I think here at the Olympics 2020. As a commentator, Morton was also subjected to the stringent rules and regulations in the Japanese capital, which made these Olympics a unique experience for one and all. <laughs> you might laugh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite an introvert person and uh, it's, uh, it's a massive irony that I, I'm a TV international commentator. <laughs> However, here, um, I, I must say that, you know, I've, I've been totally isolated. I've been sitting in my room if I've not been at the International Broadcasting Centre or if I've not been at, uh, at the stadium. And that's it. Uh, three meals a day provided. Uh, you see no people, you talk to no one. Um, I'm so looking forward to going home and seeing my family. <laughs>